Hi, my name is Jennifer Clark, and right now I'm going to be presenting the business plan that I came up with for this class for a company that I like to call the Electro Guitar. The first page of the business plan is the executive summary, which is basically a summary of each section of the business plan, just in case someone didn't have time to read through the whole thing at once. The next page brings us to the business concept, the whole concept of the business. Um, the Electro Guitar is a product that I'm selling the product that the company Electro Guitar is selling. It's a guitar that allows someone to plug in their headphones and practice playing guitar without making a lot of extra noise and without disturbing the people around them. Customers interested in this guitar are probably going to be young musicians or non-musicians, people who just have music as a hobby, between the ages of 18 and 24 who live in music-heavy cities such as Nashville and New York and uh, who are interested in the music industry, probably the popular music industry, which brings us to an industry analysis. The music industry is a really competitive industry, especially today, since, uh, especially among guitarists, because guitar is one of the instruments that is in most demand today. It is one of the instruments that is found in almost all pop music. So there's a lot of demand for guitar and music in general. The industry is growing rapidly because there are new acts found every day, new acts touring every day, and there is always new music technology being developed. For example, the electro guitar. So there are some threats to opening up a business in the music industry. There's going to be a lot of competition and a lot of people to persuade, but there are many opportunities since a lot of people are uh, becoming open to music as it's the new trend and parents are introducing to their kids to music at a young age and these kids keep up with music for a lifetime so there are a lot of people to persuade it could be a threat or an opportunity potential customers as I had mentioned earlier between the ages of 18 and 24 who are interested in the pop music industry um, the next page I have includes the product and service plan. I have written here the product name, which is the electro guitar, and the name of the product, or the nature of the product. It is a material good. And then who the product is produced by, which is the management team, myself, and the few paid employees who are going to be hired to help put together the guitars. And then the targeted customer profile, which I had mentioned a couple times. The next page goes over the management team, which currently is just myself. It says the Electro Guitar is currently a sole propi proprietorship managed by Jennifer Clark, that's me. And then it gives a little bio of myself and then the short story of how the Electro Guitar came to be. Real quickly, it's because I've experienced the life of a college musician. I've woke up early, gone, gone to classes, ate lunch, ate dinner, done homework, and then at this time, the Center of the Arts practice rooms may be closed. Um, so the options are don't practice at all, which I have to do, so that's not really an option. So the other option is practice in the dorm. And practicing in the dorm can not only disrupt my neighbors, but of course it disrupts my roommate who may be doing homework or just trying to relax. So putting that story in there hopefully gives me like credentials. I have actually gone through this and it's a real problem that I can't be the only one who's faced. The next few pages cover the marketing mix strategy. Communication, the biggest marketing tool is going to be communication through Facebook and Twitter. This is where most musicians uh, promote themselves these days, where a lot of people who aren't only musicians see new products online. Everybody has a smartphone these days. Everybody checks Facebook and Twitter once at least, or <laughs> once at least, if not several times a day. Another marketing tool that we would use is probably having a launch party or a couple launch parties because musicians love to mingle musicians love live music and so a launch party would be the perfect opportunity to launch the product have a musician dem demo the product and perhaps raffle off product and have a contest for the product and then operations plan which is on the next page, includes the operating hours, which is from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. It will operate year-round except for the major holidays, which is Christmas, Thanksgiving, 4th of July, Easter, which is a Sunday anyway, so that probably doesn't count. <laughs> um, the next is a financial plan, which includes 
um, how many, or it's a projected financial plan, which includes how many sales we are uh, projected to sell, and then, uh, or how many products we're going to, we think we're going to sell, how many sales that will bring in, and then that also includes a startup cost for wood, strings, screws, tools such as a saw and a drill, um, building, building and facility, and then licenses and uh, uh, cost, to <laughs> cost to pay the employees. The next page includes a growth plan, which is uh, we have several different goals for the product. Uh, the launch party is the first goal to get the product started. Um, next goal is to have new locations, have it be sort of like a guitar center, maybe where it's selling the product in its own stores throughout the United States, and then new products. So there's not only the standard guitar, but there may be half-size guitars for children, and maybe classical guitars with a classical guitar, more serious player. The next plan is a or the next page has the contingency plan for in case of a workroom fire, which might be a big hazard since there's a lot of wood involved in making the product. And then last page is including it includes a timeline which has goals for the year, um, for finding the business plan, um, when we plan to have everything done by. So that last page makes everything a little more real and concludes the business plan. And that is all I have.